Hi, we are the astrologers of Pandora Astrology. I'm Jamie Kale Miller. I'm in Berkeley, California. And I'm Julia Mijas in San Francisco. And today we want to tell you about something that's often overlooked, but is actually really significant. And that is your progressed sun sign, which is most likely, in fact, definitely, if you are over 30, it is not the sign that you're used to thinking of for your sun. So, um, and progressions are, you know, they're a little bit complicated. I'm not going to explain them all here, but uh, what I can tell you is that your natal chart, that's absolutely carved in stone. That's absolutely stable, but your chart does progress. And therefore you can think of progressions as developmental astrology. So your son, whatever sign your son is in, you're probably really familiar with that. However, your son will progress out of that sign at some point before you turn 30 and then move into another sign, the one that comes next in the zodiac. And then another 30 years beyond that will progress into a third sign. And so chances are that you will experience two, three, possibly even four different sun signs over the course of your lifetime. And it's really good to know where your progressed sun is um, and, uh, and what it means for your, your progress through this life, your development and the development of the sun sign side of you. Um, I'm going to show you a chart in motion in a moment, but before I do that, um, Julia, I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Progress Sun, why it's important, how people should be thinking about it. Mm. Well, I guess we, we could first start with what does the sun represent in astrology? Mm. Um, the sun is how you identify. Uh, it, it has a lot to do with identity. And it also has a lot to do with your personal purpose in life. You know, even when I'm doing a career reading uh, for somebody, I'll, I'll look at all the career points like Saturn and the Midheaven. But I usually also look at the sun a little bit, too, because it's mm. nice when your personal purpose can be aligned with career or, you know, how you spend 40 hours a week. Um, so when people's progressed sun changes sign, and remember, your, your sun, it's not going to go through all 12 signs in your lifetime. Uh, it's only going to cover a swath of the zodiac wheel. But the zodiac wheel shows uh, a developmental progression among these signs. They build upon each other. Mm -hmm. So wherever your, your natal sun is, you, you're going to cover some of the, so you're going to cover some of the swath of that wheel in your lifetime and, and develop accordingly. Um, and one of the ways you can think about it when your progressed sun changes signs is how you identify might change, as well as what, what is your, your personal purpose in life, what you like to kind of spend your time doing might also change a bit as well. Mm. And, you know, I think it was Dane Rudyard who pioneered the idea that the zodiac signs are not just, you know, a, a disconnected set of archetypes, mm -hmm. they form a rhythm of life. Yeah. And, uh, and therefore, every creative, expressive, big personality, golden Leo, is going to eventually develop into a more meticulous and possibly humble Virgo. Mm. Every Scorpio who starts out life, you know, passionate and intense is going to eventually morph into a more genial and relaxed Sagittarius, simply because that's the order that the signs go in. So um, I want to show you an example of uh, the progressed sun in motion. Here we see a chart with the sun uh, in Libra here in the center chart, the sample chart, which I'm calling this could be you. If you were born October 16th of 1990, then yes, you are a Libra with your sun in about 23 degrees of Libra. Now the progressed sun, which is in the outer wheel, these are progressions and we're gonna focus on the sun and not worry about all of the other stuff here. Uh, the progressed sun moves about a degree every year of your life. Um, and, uh, and I'm not going to, you know, explain all about how progressions work, why they work, how they happen. That's, um, I think, more of an advanced topic. But suffice it to say that the progressed sun moves in real time, transit time, a degree a day, and in progressions, 
a day is viewed as symbolic of a year. Therefore, in progressions, that same sun will move a degree every year. So what we're going to see, and this is set for year zero of this person's life, we're going to see that sun, which starts out at 23 degrees of Libra, um, watch it now travel along and progress out the other end of Libra into Scorpio around this person's age seven or eight. I'm going to count the ages as I move the years along. Age one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here we see the sun is now in zero degrees of Scorpio. So this individual being born on the 16th of the month in about seven years, around age seven, their sun changed signs in progressions. And this is like, this gives you a clue about how you can figure out what your progressed sun sign is. And basically, all you have to do is consider the fact that most signs change around the 20th or 21st of the month. And if you were born um, on the cusp, you were probably born on the 20th or 21st of the month. And your sun might be in the final degree of the previous sign or the beginning degree of the new sign. And, uh, and as you age, it will travel along the 30 degrees of those, that sign. And thus around age 30, it will change signs again. So let's say you were born on the 10th of the month. It lacks about 20 days or 21, uh, no, 11, 10 or 11 days to get to the 20th when the sign changes. And that suggests that around your age 10 or 11, your progressed sun would change signs. So if you are at the time of this reckoning older than 10 or 11, well, then your progressed sun is in the following sign. So that's the formula. Um, look at the date of your birth in the month. What day of the month is it? And, and then count the number of days to the 20th or 21st. And right in there is where um, that age converted to years is, uh, is where your progressed sun changes signs. And if you are older than that age, then, um, then you have moved in to the next sign. So for this individual, for example, if we were to bring this up to present day, which is 2021, right there, uh, we can see that this person's progress sun is now in 24 degrees of Scorpio, and in another six years, we'll be moving into Sagittarius. And so this person will get to experience yet another sun sign. Um, so, um, so Julia, do you have thoughts about what it would mean for somebody to be living into and expressing the sign after their sun sign? Because one thing that occurs to me is that the sign after your sun sign is always a pretty hard pivot, which is to say it will have nothing in common with your natal sun sign. Mm. It will be of a different element and a different quality. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it is definitely the, the first sign after the sun sign. You know, you can almost think of it as uh, the, that first progression. You're, you're usually coming out of it in youth, whether you're a child or a teenager or in your 20s. It's going to mm. be the younger part of your life. Mm. And it's going to feel a little bit like growing up, like things that you never thought you'd be into, you find yourself a little into, mm. or, um, you know, things that you didn't relate to before, all of a sudden, you're like, Oh, my God, who am I? You know, it's, <laughs> it's what I love about it is it shows you that the, the there's always more surprises to yourself than what you think, you know, even when you think you know who you are, and, and you've got it all under under control, and you think you, you figured it all out, there's always more to figure out and that usually happens when the progress sun changes sign yeah it's a wonderful unfolding that we get to go through yeah over our lifetime and now i think you're equipped to time that for yourself at least generally 
And uh, if you want to find out more about that and how that plays out in your chart, you can check out our website, pandoraastrology.com, and, uh, and uh, schedule a reading with one of us to tell you a lot more about not only your progressed sun, but all the other planets that progress too. And, um, and you can watch your own developmental unfolding play out. So hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you next time uh, here at PandoraAstrology.com or Pandora Astrology on YouTube, if that's where you found us. And uh, until then, we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.